What's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another episode of The Truth About and today it's all about cheap televisions. So I'm in the television market for the last few years, also I reviewed quite a lot of televisions here on the channel and also I watched the television market really closely for the last few years. But what's going on right now is really, really crazy. So last week I was checking the Walmart website and I found a 55 inch 4K TV for as less as $240. So just imagine, eight years ago I was buying my Plasma TV, 49 inch Full HD, for sure from a good brand, but anyway, I paid $1,000. And right now you're getting a 55 inch 4K TV for as less as $240. But for sure there are also more expensive TVs on the market. For instance, you can also find a 55 inch 4K TV for $2,000. And I think for consumers it's really really hard to check out the difference, especially when you buy this online. But anyway, TV manufacturers don't sell so many devices anymore as they used to a few years ago, where everybody wanted to get a flat screen. But right now they really have trouble to keep their numbers up. So what happens is that the ma many of those Chinese manufacturers are pushing out really cheap low-end TVs for no money and they are not really good quality and for you guys it's really hard to see the difference when you just see it online and just compare the prices and the specs, both for 4K, both for 55 inch, but it's like a $1,000 difference. And today in this video, in this episode of The Truth About, I want to tell you guys the differences between really cheap TVs and really good quality TVs and why it's maybe not a good idea to buy the cheapest TV you can find on the market. But before we get started, I want to tell you about something that is cheap and absolutely worth it and that are .tech domains. So I have relaunched my website, it's tech-magnet.tech. You can find all my videos there. We'll host soon a big giveaway on there, so check it out. The link is down below in the description. Short story, I wanted to get a new domain a few years ago and actually I wanted to get techmagnet.com but the guy wanted $50,000 for the domain. This is absolutely ridiculous. So I actually picked the .yt domain which was intended for YouTubers but this was also a huge fail since nobody's using it and every time you give your email to somebody they think it's a scam and it was just kind of weird. But finally I got a .tech domain and this is really a standard in the tech industry. A lot of big brands are using it, um, just to name a few, Intel, the CS is using it, Viacom, a lot of tech YouTubers like Austin Evans, Mr. Mobile, TechSource, just to name a few, and now also me, and I'm really glad that I have this domain. Anyway, with the code down below in the description, you can now get 90% off on a one and five year subscription. So make sure to check it out. This is now your choice. Um, make sure to check it out really right now because actually I want to get Tech Magnet without the minus, but it was already taken. So the domains get away really fast. So make sure to check out if your domain is actually still available. So if you're a tech blogger, if you're in the tech industry, if you run a tech startup, or if you have anything to do with tech, then this is really something that is future proof. And yeah, it's really cheap with the discount code down below. So make sure to check it out. And they also have a really cool support. I had issues with my SSL cert certificate and really a guy from the support helped me like in five minutes, absolutely amazing. And yeah, Check it out, link down below. And now let's get started with the truth about. If you haven't bought a new TV for several years, you may be surprised when you hit the stores to find TVs of the same size can vary in price by several thousand dollars. And you may be confused to find the video shown on the TV that costs $500 looks just as good as the $5,000 TV next to it. Well, that's because the content shown on the TV in store is often selected because it looks great on most of the TVs. This is usually an animation or a slow moving scene in high resolution. The color and brightness settings will also be different in store to those you will use at home. The shop increases the brightness and color saturation to ensure the image pops off the screen and has an immediate impact. But even more, there's a big difference between the technologies, between LCDs, OLEDs, QLEDs and much more. So in today's episode of The Truth About, we dig deep down the rabbit hole and reveal the secrets of why some TVs are cheaper than others. Quite often, cheap TVs are just cheap. Low-cost sets without the features or the image quality of their more expensive competition might seem like a bargain, but aren't actually a good place to invest your money. After all, most people keep their TVs for 5 or 10 years. And during my journey on YouTube, I've tested a lot of TVs and every time a manufacturer 
advertises their TV as LED TV, I kinda get annoyed, because this is the first marketing lie you will hear. There is no such thing as an LED TV, because it's an LCD TV with some fancy LED backlighting. So LED is popular. Instead of being always on and therefore not able to dim in specific areas of the screen, LED lights are arranged either along the sides of the screen, so called edge LED, or arranged behind the entire screen, which is direct or full LED. Edge LED TVs can be built thinner and are more power efficient, but lose the advantage of having the LEDs behind the LCD, which results in a better backlight distribution and better local dimming. These LED lights can switch on and off individually, which means the image can have greater contrast, bright whites, deep black and the same image. Not as deep as an OLED, but on LCD TVs this really depends on the so-called dimming zones. Local dimming is a feature on so-called LED TVs that dims the backlight behind parts of the screen that are displaying black. This makes blacks appear deeper and darker on those parts of the screen, which can be a big bonus for people who watch videos with darker scenes like movies and TV shows. TVs with more dimming zones are usually more expensive because they can differentiate better between really dark scenes and brighter scenes. High expensive TVs have so-called full array local dimming like Samsung QLED TVs and that means that a lot of tiny LEDs are distributed over the whole surface. However, cheap TVs don't have that. They have direct LED with only a small number of LEDs which results in a common problem almost everybody has already experienced and it's called clouding. We opened up such cheap TV to show you how and why clouding exists. And this TV was a total bad example for what can go wrong on cheap televisions. First of all, cheap televisions are usually produced in factories where a lot of the steps are done by workers by hand. This can lead to a lot of failure. The workers do one task at a time for several hours and this is really exhausting. I've visited a few factories during my trips and they all look quite similar. The main PCB is produced by SMD place and pick machines and gets soldered by the machine and then just tested by the workers. The power supply is mostly a part they buy from another factory and they just put it into the TV. Same for the panels. Higher quality factories produce the panels by themselves. That means they get all the layers from LG or other manufacturers and then they put the layers together in a clean room that must be completely dust free. Here the first failure can already happen if dirt gets in between the layers and then you will may think you got a pixel fault, but in reality it's just dirt in your panel. You need to be really careful when opening up such a TV because the LCD itself is very thin and can break easily. If it bends too much it will crack. So take care. Now behind the LCD you will find a few layers of transparent white sheets that break and distribute the light for an even backlight. Usually, there are also some spacers between the LCD and the sheets to make sure it doesn't bend and throw a shadow. If they are broken and that happens on some TVs, then this can also cause a fucked up picture. On the TV we took apart the LCD stripes and yes, they are literally just LCD stripes came off. And the sheet above was throwing a shadow on the LCD, which resulted in circles on the screen. This can happen if the glue of the LED stripes is bad or they are misplaced or if the TV gets very hot and the chassis is badly designed and causes the stripes to pop off. It's a common issue on very cheap entry level TVs. Here on this 55 inch 4K TV you can see only a small number of LEDs compared to full array local dimming LCDs. So if these LEDs are not placed correctly, you will get clouding on your TV. And even Samsung states on their website that clouding can occur on some of their TVs and that this is normal. I think I've never seen an entry level LCD TV without clouding and if you have one, check the picture on a complete dark screen. Trust me, you will spot it. So this is how affordable TVs work and how they are made. They differ a lot in terms of backlight, panel quality and processor performance. So a $500 LCD TV differs a lot from a $2,000 LCD TV. So don't be fooled and think twice if you want to buy an extremely cheap TV, for instance on Amazon Prime Day, because usually the quality of it is not that good. Now let me know what TV you have and what you have experienced so far. I'm personally only trusting Sony for really good LCDs, but they're also really expensive. But that's just my opinion. 
So thanks for watching this episode of The Truth About. If you liked it, please like the video. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. As always guys, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I will catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and